the next generation. The next generation are not all saints, they're not all angels, but they are more receptive to the thematics, to climate, to water, to carbon, to forestry. Uh, the technology companies that are here are, are looking for investors, they're looking for strategic partners, they're looking for organizations that will purchase their technology and take it home. They're looking, they're truly looking for end users and some sort of sign that government is actually going to do something about it. So, PLUS Plan will provide for a new product portfolio for the plant operator, for additional revenue. Your first question, um, G24 are working on Dysel. Kanaka was, was set up to work on Dysel, but they sold that technology to G24, and Kanaka have been working for the last uh, five years now on, on organic, this is basically solid state, printed, dry materials. To, to investment, we're reducing, able to reduce the cost of, of building plants by using existing fabrication systems. Our, our aim is to, is to launch first products in the end of 2013. Um, we, are, we will be producing the modules themselves um, using this outsourced model, um, but the final, um, the final mile, actually more than final mile, will be done by um, the manufacturers of the solar lighting units. So we aim to sell the module to the solar lighting businesses, the companies like D-Light. Uh, first one is, is the efficiency. So we're achieving uh, in our laboratory efficiencies of around 6%. When CO2 is being captured, it has been stored on the ground. We saw yesterday it has been used for injection into oil reservoirs or enhanced oil recovery. Either way, these are on the ground storage mechanisms. No formation is impermeable. Every place where you have any kind of a conduit that goes into any uh, ground, there's a potential for leak. CO2 is corrosive. It may corrosive the, uh, corrosive the casing. It may disintegrate the cement. There is a risk element in this whereby the CO2 may actually come to surface. And it has happened as recently as a uh, January this year in Canada. So, why do we, uh, we do something about this? What we do is we take that CO2 and we transform it into a substance, into a product that we call T-Max and some catalyst. I hope that you're all very, very familiar with these two products. That's a crystalline silicon uh, standard photovoltaic panel. Beneath it is the lower cost, lower efficiency uh, thin film alternative. What Onsun on on Systems intends to do is make that. It's a very, very similar product to the way it's used. Uh, it's, it's mounted on typically onto rooftops. Uh, it's, the difference really is in what's inside that panel. Um, we follow an approach called the concentrate approach, we use lenses to focus direct sunlight uh, and we actually make an internal tracking mechanism so this, this whole panel remains fixed on a rooftop uh, and there's an internal tracking mechanism which is really the innovation and the unique thing about our company. So what we have is a, a mechanism which can track, I hope you can just about see, we'll just look at it afterwards, in two directions, just by sliding one plate relative to another. The secret is in two very thin steel plates um, that have been cut out into some spiral shapes and connecting the elements across this way makes an incredibly cheap tracking mechanism. It represents on a, on a product which is worth about $200 in the market, it represents a cost of about $6 for us. So it's a real radical change which enables proven concentrated technology to go into a new market onto rooftops and radically reduces the cost of the technology. What do the other tracking systems cost as a percentage of the value? Uh, typically something of the order of 35%. And in your case it is? It's more like 5%. And we have two motors inside the panel with a simple drive, uh, a drive circuit uh, to make it to control the motion. Uh, we, we put the whole technology inside the sealed box. It's a glass cover sheet over the top and then there's a seal back to it. And the idea is to make maintenance through the product that will last at least 25 years. 
Um, the durability, we've done uh, lifetime testing on the unique thing, which is the steel, uh, the sort of steel which we make into these little spiral springs. Um, that's shown that the steel uh, will last. Uh, the number of repetitions that we, uh, the, the product actually, the number of motions that it has to make over its life is actually quite small. So we spoke to the company that makes the controllers for turbochargers in BMW's diesel engines. And <laughs> Thank you.